Today, NASA and the Canadian Space Agency announced the four astronauts who will partake in the next Artemis mission and fly around the moon. Well, it is set to be the first time since the end of the Apollo program 51 years ago that humans have soared around our moon. Here's ABC's Alex Stone with the story. It was an announcement that had the theatrics of a sports team being revealed. He is a master of science in physics, an F-18 pilot, and a Canadian astronaut. Your mission specialist, Jeremy Hansen. All active NASA astronauts who happen to be on Earth right now were in the room with four of them being announced as the ones chosen to go to the moon. This is a huge effort for, for NASA, for the United States of America, for Canada, for the whole world. The four chosen include veteran NASA astronauts Victor Glover, Christina Hammock-Cook, and Reed Wiseman, plus Canadian Jeremy Hansen. Wiseman to be the commander, Glover the pilot. Cook is set to eventually become the first woman and Glover the first person of color to step foot on the moon. Each of the American astronauts has already spent many days in space. Cook currently holds a record for the longest single space flight by a woman at 328 days. I look forward to the day that we continue to break boundaries even at the moon. And that's what we see our role as. We're enabling those next missions. The crew will first fly on Artemis 2, which is scheduled to next year take the four around the moon for the first time since the end of the Apollo program 51 years ago. That will make history, but then Artemis 3, maybe in 2025, is designed to land on the moon, and Artemis 4, a second moon landing expected in 2027. This is our crew. This is humanity's crew. And with all of it, the ultimate goal is to be able to one day launch from the moon to head to Mars or even deeper into space. Alex Stone, ABC News, Los Angeles.